okay well so let's continue with knight takes e5 knight takes e5 d takes e5 and uh, queen d5 so this is the the current position queen d5 point is that we uh, we pin the knight the knight can move and also uh, take pressure on e5 also, but his main, his general main problem is the c5 knight. Uh, and the point is that if he plays b6, seems to be losing immediately the rook. But, Kevin takes 8, it is not working, which is the most tempting at first sight, because bishop b7 and suddenly the queen is trapped and black is winning. So here, first of all, we need a very important intermediate move, the bishop h6. And uh, white wins uh, material because the rook has to move. And if, for example, rook e8, then we take the a8, and uh, and the rook is hanging on e8, so he can't trap the queen with bishop b7. This is the general point. Yeah, let's see. The knight can't move at all. How about still? Let's see. Queen takes c3 because uh, okay, go out of the pin and also attack. The, the c2 bishop by tempo. Now we play queen takes c5, queen takes c2, just seems to be okay for him, but queen takes e7, and suddenly there are a big pa problems on the dark squares. So threatening with bishop h6, queen f6, we check immediately. And if he would play kind of queen f5 to go back a bit, then bishop h6, and the rook is trapped, he has to move with the bishop, maybe d7, but bishop takes f8 and, uh, and white is simply winning with a clear exchange up. Alright, so that's why the 13th castle was a bad move, so this e5 is a very nice uh, break which managed to win. Let's see how about bishop e6. This is a natural developing move. Uh, still he doesn't decide his king, probably sometimes he can uh, castle on the long side. And uh, the e on e6 the bishop is good, moreover he attacks immediately the c4 pawn. So let's see what can we do with this. Knight d4 exclamation mark, great continuation to take pressure on the bishop and the knight. And the knight coming to the center. Short castle now, yeah, because the since the previous move the position has changed a bit. If bishop takes c4 instead, let's see what about if he grabs the pawn, then knight takes c6. It's a very nice tactical motive, and queen d4, and suddenly a double attack. Rook and the bishop is also hanging. Of course, b bishop takes f1 is nothing because we take the h8 for check. Moreover, take the a8 also after that. Okay, let's see how about knight e5. Knight takes e6. Now we take the bishop. And knight takes e6. Very interesting position. Now double bishops against double knights. Usually, generally the double bishops are much better than the double knights. But now it's not so, so easy. Because white pawn structure is not really good. So black has a good uh, counterplay for that. So white should solve it somehow. But let's see, for example, if f takes e6 instead, how to play like that. f4, knight c6. Yeah, but why? Also the same motif like before, knight takes c4 is not working because queen d4 and uh, suddenly double attack again. Suddenly white is winning. So this is the point of f4, if the knight goes to c6, then simply rook fb1, with a great, great initiative, because threatening with uh, rook b5, the c2 bishop is neutralized the c5 knight as well, and uh, yeah, it's uh, the knight doesn't really have, knight doesn't really have a real basic squares. On c5 seems to be stable, but after rook b5 we can. Why with this rook we came? Because after rook a b1 the a2 pawn would be would be hanging. So that's uh, 
we don't want to give up. That's why rook f b1. Okay, all right. Let's see how about knight takes e6. And now we play again a great continuation, queen d5 exclamation mark. Of course, white is happy to exchange to, to change the structure, and that's why exchange the queens. Because, for example, queen takes d5, c takes d5 is just a favor for him. Knight c5, because now the pawn, st pawn structure suddenly good. Knight c5, and okay, there also we have several options. It's a bit a bit surprising the following move: the bishop takes c5 immediately, but. Uh, we will have a strong uh, pawn storm with f4, knight c4, bishop b3, and e5. So we can just uh, go forward, knight f5, rook f e1, and white pawns are extremely strong together here. Long castle, bishop c4, and white is, uh, we can say that white is just okay. Minimum slightly better, but I think it's a good initiative position. Okay. So this was the queen takes d5. Let's see how about if he goes to knight c5. Also rook a b1. So we just go slowly forward and uh, try to create activities. The a2 pawn now is not a big problem because uh, queen takes a2 could have been met by bishop takes c5 if d takes c5 then queen e5 and wins a piece win a piece if queen takes c2 then white can continue the attack with rook takes b7 and uh, black seems to be completely hopeless because takes queen takes e5 or even yeah even Oh, even rook b2 also pretty strong, uh, followed by uh, this, but, but queen e5 is also... But I mean, wait, after queen e5, maybe still he can survive with castle. That's, what a beautiful move. Yeah, th th this is which, which was very important to see this motif. But rook b2 is excellent, the queen takes, and now we win two rooks. So this is completely winning for white. So that's why queen takes c2... And the queen takes a2 thing is not really working. How about if he would take on c3? Because it also seems to be good. And now we have also yeah, several options. Bishop takes c5. Queen takes c2 would be a bit similar. Because uh, rook takes b7 is working again. d takes c5. And also this... Rook b2 seems to be pretty good. Yeah, even queen e5 also working, but also he can play castle. This, this rook b2 is, is, is good enough. Queen b2. Yeah, takes, but now that is kind of different compared to this position. Here the pawn was on c3, but here it is a big different. Queen takes a8 is not working because knight f3 check and suddenly he wins the queen. So here we should a little bit change in uh, our mind. And, uh, and okay, now we have to play queen e5, castles, and uh, maybe just start to take the material a little bit, maybe queen takes c5. Then we take the e7 also. Mm, white will have a healthy pawn up. Just a, a nice position. Okay, so this was the queen takes c3. Let's see how are the other options. For example, the look stable knight ed7. How to play after this? Because knight ed7 seems to be a stable move, protect the c5, and now everything looks protected. So b7 is protected, but also if you take his knight, he take back with this knight, and, and he, he is okay. And now coming a brilliant continuation which uh, open up the position e5 double exclamation mark these moves are brilliant crushing and let's see what is the point so for example knight takes e5 yeah if d takes e5 
then uh, it's very simple if we win a piece with rook b5 followed by bishop c5 so he loads the c5 knight if knight takes e5 then also he will have some problem after rook b5 queen takes c3 and at this moment uh, it sti still uh, seems to be just okay for, for black because he has counterplay, attack the c2 bishop, seems to be fine, but now coming the brilliant continuation with rook c1 double exclamation mark again, and uh, suddenly I protected the bishop and I have several threats with bishop takes g6, bishop a4, And this is the only uh, move which uh, wins on the spot. Queen takes c4, yeah, because what else? Bishop is threatening to jump somewhere. If the queen goes out of that, we can simply take, uh, take on c5. Yeah, because I can't take it with the bishop because the c1 rook is hanging, but with the rook we can. And then queen takes e5 and the white is completely winning. And it's also true after queen c4, also rook takes c5, so the same motif, d takes queen takes e5, and white is completely winning here. Okay. So, let's see how about knight b6. He, he didn't take uh, anywhere, just uh, go forward and play an attacking move. <clears throat> and queen d1 this is actually a really interesting moment because we have a nice uh, other continuation also and hard to decide which is better both of them are uh, really good the rook takes b6 it's a very smart alternative choice <laughs> let's see how it is going on a takes b6 yes because if, queen, if the queen would take back then e takes d6, e takes d6, and bishop a4 check. So, thanks for that, uh, this knight is pained. This check is very, very unpleasant and very comfortable for, uh, for white and for black is not really, because for example, king f8, we can continue with bishop h6, king g8, and rook e1 suddenly come to the open file, and it doesn't matter, even after knight takes a4, we sacrifice the a piece, because uh, rook e7. And uh, at this moment, white has a clear rook down. But uh, what about with this rook? What about the, with this king? So black is in a uh, big problem, in a big trouble. Queen b1 check. On f7 he had big problems, so not clear what can he do with that. Queen b1, king h2, and queen f5, so this was which still uh, uh, come back and protect. And now simply queen d4, and uh, of course we don't exchange queens because we have uh, rook down, but threatening with checkmate on, on g7, so his only move is f6, which uh, doesn't uh, checkmate immediately but oh, no it's also checkmate actually just the queen g7 he avoided because this king f8 and queen takes d6 followed by queen e7 and and uh, mate so queen b6 e takes d6 would be a big problem for uh, for black so a takes b6 e takes d6 now and long castle yeah, he has uh, two alternatives here, the castle, the ca queen or king side. If he castle king side, then d takes e7, rook e8. Let's see how we are in materially. Black is an exchange up, but uh, there are two pawns for it. So it's materially approximately equal, but uh, how active is uh, white, bishop d4? Rook takes e7 and queen g5. Now also the dark squares are pretty weak, so he attacks the rook and threatening with several queen f6 ways. Rook e6 and f4. Yeah, rook e6 was important 
because uh, it protects the square. So for example, if I come with queen h6, he can play still f6 and uh, it's just okay. So long castle, queen takes f7, e takes d6, bishop d1, yeah, it's uh, also suddenly some changes because, uh, yeah, suddenly activate the bishop and if king b8, then after bishop g4, white has... Uh, white has actually a great compensation for the material. Black pawn structure is also not really good. Okay, the c5 knight is, is stable, that is okay, but the bishop pair usually gives a really good compensation, so white chances are already slightly better. So it's not only a compensation, it's, it's, it's already better a bit. Yes, because uh, let's go back here a bit. So we long castle, so pin the, the pawn, then we take that pawn. With the rook he can't really take because uh, queen takes e7 and he is again in trouble. Okay, so that's why rook takes b6 was a really interesting uh, alternative. So queen d1, just go back here. And knight takes c4. Take the pawn. How about uh, castle instead? Castle is always important developing move because uh, it's, it's usually a hard decision when we just uh, take a material like knight takes c4 or castle instead because uh, both of them are important and can be important uh, too. E takes d6, e takes d6, queen takes, so white grabs the material. Knight e6 because this knight was hanging. So there is no any knight takes c4 stuff because queen takes c5 and uh, he is good. So knight e6 and bishop b3. It's funny because the b3 bishop is like a big pawn but uh, but um, soon probably we can play c5 and suddenly this v bishop will be very very active and uh, and, and white is uh, white is better here. Protected the c4 pawn also, so seems to be an ugly move, but a multiple move. Yeah, protect the c4 a2 also, so it's 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 actually fine. And this was the short castle in the move 19. Let's see how about knight takes c4 instead. E takes d6, so we take the pawn, and knight takes e3. Yeah, because if knight takes d6, now this motif you already saw with a different position, queen d4 uh, double attack. Yeah, h8 rook and c5 knight. So suddenly it's, it's very bad uh, for him. Knight takes e3, let's see. F takes, and okay, here we can also say that this is a very ugly pawn structure with white, but no problem, because it's a dynamic position, so we open up the rook file, uh, his king didn't castle yet, if he castled then the e7 is hanging, if he takes here then his king uh, stuck in the mid stacks in the middle, and it's, uh, yeah, it's just bad for him. White is clearly better here also. Yeah, let's see still a few moves. For example, if queen takes c3 would come. Queen d4. I think d takes e7 is also a possibility. Okay, it takes the e3. Yeah, maybe not the best. But queen d4, I think it's really good. Because uh, queen takes d4, he must take because on h8 was also hanging. e takes d4, knight goes to kind of e6. Then we take on b7, and if e takes d6, otherwise that was hanging, then rook f f7, and suddenly both rooks are on the 7th rank. So, yeah, he's, he's in a big trouble. White, has a, white is a decisive advantage. 
Okay, so this was the 1790ED7, so 90ED7 E5 leads for these interesting uh, variations. Let's see how about instead the rook c8. Rook c8 is a smart move, doesn't greedy, doesn't hurry anywhere, just play a stable continuation. Rook b5. And uh, Queen takes c3. And Bishop b3. Again, a very smart play. So White also, also doesn't hurry to win back the material. Seems to be completely fine. Completely smart and uh, cool blooded play. Just put the bishop on b3, create several threats again, and uh, and protect the c4. So it's a uh, it's a stable move. However, as in the previous position I mentioned, the bishop is a bit ugly there, but generally it's not a big problem. Knight c6 is the main continuation, but let's see how about if knight takes b3. We can't say it's a good move because a takes b3. And now uh, the pawn structure is also okay. White is, is stable, so this pawn structure is simply excellent. And uh, there are several hangings, for example, b7, a7. And if he would play kind of b6, which actually protect both, then uh, bishop d4. And white is winning, because if the queen goes somewhere, for example, d3, then... Uh, we have several options. First of all, we have kind of f4 also, which is not completely sure, but uh, for example, queen b7 is also a strong move. Rook a1 is also extremely strong. So generally, this is a winning position already for white. f4 seems to be the, the strongest way. Let's check this a little bit. Uh, e6. Now with the queen we can't go anywhere because he will take the bishop for check, so we, sh we should take on d6. And uh, now the knight can uh, even escape here and we can't move with the bishop. I mean, uh, can't take the rook because uh, because we take the, the rook. Because we can't take the rook because the queen is hanging, so bishop e5 is the only possibility. Okay. Let's see how about b6 instead. What about b6? Also try to be stable, protect the knight even more, protect the b7 pawn from the penetration also. So this is also just a, a kind of option. Rook c1 come with the new piece also to the play and queen d3. This is a really nice critical moment. Why this is so critical? Because black is threatening to exchange the queens, which white doesn't want at all. But he has, he, as his pieces are active, sometimes we can uh, find. Uh, Tactical motif. It's, it's very, very typical. Rook takes c5, double exclamation mark. Let's see what is the point. B takes, of course. O of course, uh, queen takes d5 is not working because loses a piece, or even we can take on c8 also. D takes c5 is no possible because we take on e5. And B takes c5 is the only question, but then we have bishop a4 check. King d8, yes, because king f8, king f8, bishop h6 check, king g8, and queen b7, very strong penetration, and double attack again, attack the c8 rook and the e7 pawn. So, for example, uh, 
the rook can't really move. Yes, because if the rook moves, we will take on e7. Of course, if on e8 he can go, but that we take off, take for free. Otherwise, queen e7 and, and very quick checkmate. Also, the knight can't block the check because his queen is hanging, so the knight is protecting the queen. So, king d8. Queen b7. Of course, don't exchange queens, continue the pressure. And now we can feel that doesn't matter he has an exchange and the pawn up because his king is in the middle and our bishops are also extremely strong and of course the queen is also pretty active. So queen a3 and queen takes a7 and white is completely winning here. Okay, all right. So b6 was also doesn't help. Let's see how about knight c6, also a bit more stable continuation. Bishop takes c5, you already take it. D takes c5. And then, let's see what would be the correct continuation. Rook takes b7 with a great initiative, because we have, uh, we have a strong pressure again, and... Uh, Okay, we don't give checkmate, so for example, he can play castle, but then we have also something. <clears throat> Let's see, for example, what? the free pawn here because in case of knight d8 or knight a5 we can save it with queen b4 that's why not uh, rook c7 because uh, takes takes and knight takes b3 he also win a pawn but from here we are safe because takes takes and the c4 b3 is is uh, is just uh, completely good. Okay. So this was the knight a5, knight d8. After knight d8, I think we have the same. No, no, knight d8, the rook is hanging, is not working. So knight, knight a5 is just the, the, the question. So let's go back. This was the knight e5. And let's see how about the natural castling. Natural castling is a, is a, a playable move yet. Knight takes e6. Usually we like to take the bishop. And knight takes e6. Because if f takes e6, seems to be good to open the, the rook's f file. But... Uh, also white is better because we can play f4. And we have a strong initiative or attack here, as we, yeah, as we wish. Because, uh, yeah, when he has a stable knights here, usually we should find, it is an important principle, some kind of counterplay and initiative on the other side. So now the, on the king's side, f4, f5. Knight takes e6 and f4. Same plan. Now the knight is not on c5, but it is it is also uh, also the same strategy we can play. Knight c5 and h4. H4 is a very interesting. We, we open another front there, but now the. White cannot go for uh, e5, because now d takes e5 and f5. This is a really typical pawn sacrifice. 
But uh, maybe now it's not enough because Rook A D8 and he gets too much activity. For example, Queen F2 seems to be good to uh, take pressure on the knight, but uh, he has also counterplay with Queen takes C3. Let's see uh, what is the point of that. If he would take the knight on C5. Yeah, bishop a6 the move. Then he, he comes with rook d2. So he wins back the the c2 bishop. So bishop h6. Queen takes c4. A f takes g6. H takes g6. Of course, f takes g6 is not working, which would be really smart. Checkmate takes. And take. So this is just not, not good. He has to take with the h pawn. Bishop takes f8. How about bishop takes g6 also seems to be a strong attack because for example f takes g6 and then uh, bishop takes f8 and white is, uh, white is really good. But after bishop takes g6, f yes, seems to be good, but now coming the brilliant counterplay, knight d3 double exclamation mark, queen g3, and knight f4 exclamation mark, and suddenly black is winning because he closed the f file and threatening with knight e2. Good. Let's go back. So bishop takes f8, that's why. Rook takes f8, bishop takes g6. Let's evaluate the position a bit. White seems to be okay because exchange up, but black has two pawns for that. Now uh, we just have the opposite because usually we have. So white has, has the material down, but good compensation for that. Now just the opposite, uh, queen d4 because uh, black would like to exchange the queens because with the two pawns he's, he's very good. Rook, F, rook a c1, b6, stabilize himself, bishop b1. Of course bishop takes f7 is not working because of the pin. Rook takes f7 and uh, queen f7 is not working because it's pinned. So it's just lost the piece. And in case of bishop b1, black has a great f5. And suddenly he's strong in the, in the center. His pieces are also more active. Black's position is more promising. A yeah, very, very active play he has. Also, bishop takes f5 is not working because rook takes f5, it's free. Th that pin is very, very unpleasant on the, on this uh, d4, g1 mm, diagonal. Okay, so that's why this e5 was not working smart variation, but not working finally. So h4, queen a6, not easy to play for black because his knights are smart, stands well, but how, how to find the counterplay? Now he tried to uh, attack the c4 weakness, but now queen e2, knight a5, Bishop takes c5. Yeah, because uh, queen e2 was also a multiple move, protect the pawn, and also the queen is seeing toward the king side, so maybe it will be very useful with this play. Uh, but knight a5 was a good counterplay, so suddenly not really easy what to do. Unfortunately, we have to take on c5, which, which generally we don't really like. But d takes c5, h5. Queen takes c4, so finally we gave up a pawn. Of course, knight takes c4 wouldn't be logical. First of all, doesn't threatening to exchange queens. So white has a... And, and moreover, white has a great pin after this bishop d3. So queen takes c4. Queen e3. Of course, white uh, doesn't want to exchange with the pawn down. Queen e6. And after e5, we can say that white has a great 
uh, initiative and uh, compensation for the material. Uh, let's say why. Knight is a bit out of play, okay, he can come back to c4, but then the queen goes somewhere, for example, uh, e2, or maybe we can take even the pawn also, and sometimes in the, in the bishop b3 uh, pin, he will be also. Uh, what else? If he activates the rook, for example, rook d 8 maybe then we can continue the attack with f5. And this is this is already dangerous. White white should be better here. Okay, so this was the variation with eleven queen a five. So bishop c three, bishop takes it queen a five, and here we play this queen d two, knight e five, bishop c two strategy, where we also didn't want to give up the light squared bishop to keep so keep the bishop pair also. Okay, short castles, 9d4, come with the center. Of course, we, our dream would be that if he takes and takes with the pawn and brilliant pawn structure again, then come with f4 also. So knight a5, bishop h6, and rook e8. Now the, the dark squared bishop is really missing for uh, black. Okay, however, we have double pawn for that's why. But probably this dynamic uh, factor is, uh, is more important. F4, of course, the same strategy again. We can, uh, we can just go forward here. E5. f takes e5, knight takes e5. Yeah, he should try to find kind of counterplay, otherwise we push him. f5, e5, uh, full of difficult stuff. Knight takes e5. Let's see how about d takes e5. If d takes e5, then queen f3 exclamation mark again, f6. Knight b3. Yes, because we were threatening with mate, so it takes d4 is obviously not working because takes and checkmate on g7. So he should do something here. Uh, if, if he would protect with queen e7, that's also an option, but uh, the knight can jump for tempo to f5, and g takes f5, queen g3 is uh, checkmate next, so this is not working. And if the queen would, would go somewhere, then, uh, then okay, we have also several options. Maybe this excellent knight d6 we have. The queen can't take again because on f7 he's hanging. Queen f3, rook takes f3, and uh, yeah, and, and, and white has a comfortable position again. Well, so, for example, rook maybe e7 and then activate this also, rook a f1, and he will have problems there. For example, f6. And we have also several options. For example, yeah, for example, activate the bishop from here. Even c5 is also an option to freeze the c4 square for the bishop. And uh, knight takes c5 is not working because, because uh, rook takes f6 and, and checkmate there. So, yeah, so, so after queen e7, he faces this, uh, this extremely strong knight f5. So that's why f6, and okay, now just go back with the knight, knight b3. Knight takes b3. Yeah, if we can force this, usually we are very happy. Because look this structure. Now the pawn structure is good again. These pawns are together, not isolated. If knight c5, then simply bishop c2 and white is winning. Because first of all, we will have b4 c5 plan, followed by bishop b3. And also, rook a d1 can come. Even the f6 pawn is also hanging. So his situation is not easy at all here. 
Yes. How about if he doesn't take? If he plays another move, for example, knight c6 back. But then we can also play this excellent c5 and then bishop c4 and the bishop is just active in this diagonal. Yeah, so it's, for, let's say, for example, queen e7, bishop c4 check, king goes to a8, and then, uh, then play something uh, active move, for example, queen f2. Uh, now we just protected the c5. It's not only because of a pawn, but uh, also this pawn has gained some space. Yeah, so if you lose that, then... Uh, then he can come out also. However, I, I, I was thinking of rook d1 also. Maybe still uh, can't take the pawn. Because uh, queen f6 is also even dangerous. So, l let's say more or less black doesn't really have any threat. Queen f2 is also good, but rook d1 was also good. And, uh, and white should be kind of winning. Okay, so knight takes b3 that we checked. Uh, let's go back. How about to take back with the knight? Usually they like to take back with the knight because knight is also stable on, on e5, takes pressure on c4. However, the d6 pawn is, 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 uh, it will be a weakness in the long term. So now not only white has weakness, black has also with this. So generally very hard to evaluate this position because both sides has weaknesses. So it's a very dynamic, not a static position, very dynamic position. Queen d2 and knight takes d3. Queen takes. Yeah, because if he would take the c4, then we would... Uh, Queen f4 and some uh, some attack on the f file, threatening with bishop c4. Queen takes f7 now. Of course, uh, that's why this uh, bishop is not hanging because queen takes f7. So knight d3, queen takes queen h4. And okay, this was still the best play. Now we have to go back with the bishop, but it's also good on f4. Attack the d6. And uh, and we also protected this e4 pawn, thanks for this move. So let's say that white is... Uh, white is okay, white is not better, but let's say initiative. So his, his chances are, especially practically, are, uh, are better. Okay, all right, let's go back a little bit and continue with the d6. And okay, f4. I don't say this is the only move, so we have normal knight f3, we have c4, so we have uh, several interesting alternatives here. But okay, f4, I, I like this kind of activity. Knight c6, bishop e3, knight f6 h3. <laughs> why he didn't uh, hurry with the knight f3? That's why, because knight g4 can be uh, maybe unpleasant sometimes. So that's why this, this h3 is just okay to, to stop that. And only then, so for example, if he would play like b6, then knight f3, bishop b7, knight bd2, queen c7, queen e2 e6, long castle. Short castle I think is also completely playable, but okay, let's play actively, long castle, short castle. And after king b1 we can say that white has a good position because he is pretty active, space advantage he has, and which is also a very important factor, his pawn structure is very flexible, so g4, g5 can come very, very easily. 